nobody does. Believe in yourself, even if nobody does. Let nobody tell you that you can't, you can. Live Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. You're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Pussy Power 21. Jerry was like worldwide. That's right. You tell him, little buddy. What's up, family? Welcome, welcome to Late Night. Late Night with Jerry was live worldwide. And the beautiful Kelly Holland coming out of Charm City. That's right, y'all. You got to check out our beautiful city, y'all. Charm City is awesome. Don't worry about the news, y'all. Just stay in the good neighborhoods like downtown, East and West Harbor. That's right. Spend some money. Bring your boat in. That's right. Come hang with Kelly Holland, the baller. All right. Tonight, 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 we have um, one of our favorites. Always been a big fan of this young lady. And uh, we, we always have interesting conversations, too. Her and I just can't get on the phone and talk business, you know. Well, most of the time, it's majority business. But anyway, we just love talking about the future, our vision, and um, where God is taking all of us, you know. And it's been so interesting, this journey, you know. Because I remember a conversation. She called me one day. I was working on a Saturday. <laughs> and she was pitching me. <laughs> yeah, she was She was pitching hard. And um, turned out to this day, she has a, a long-running show. I guess it's up to, uh-oh, Mimi's barking. Up to 20-something episodes. And I uh, was airing in Comcast in, in um, Atlanta, Georgia. And also now it's airing in Detroit. A lot of people didn't know that. Airing in Detroit. That's right. And right now, Praise TV, Apple, Roku, and On Demand on the mobile app. That's, I'm just so excited. And you'll be seeing it real, real soon. All right, let's bring Kelly Holland on real quick, and we'll be talking to Shea Samuels in a bit. So hold tight. What's up, Kelly Holland? What's up in your world? Hey, 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 Batman. Hey, Baltimore. How is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. So, so you good? You good? Yeah, Batman been good. I made some changes. I had to make some changes. You know, my sleep habits. I had to take it up a notch, you know? You know what? You ain't the only one. And I just feel like I'm struggling, Batman. This week particularly, my whole house was struggling. If somebody was waking somebody up every day of the week. <laughs> and if we was all late every time we went to do it. <laughs> it was a mess. This whole week was a mess. Yeah, I had oh, to, it's yeah. Not even over. Oh, I know. I had to do some changes, man. You know, the kids are home from school, and I was expecting them to be up all night. And you listening to game system, but I just realized that they actually still in school. They still taking classes, so um, they've been kind of behaving like they're on campus. You know, just doing their schoolwork and 
and um, you know, studying all that good stuff. But I um I invested in um a mattress topper that's uh made out of gel foam. Yeah, it was interesting. And you know what? New 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 toys <laughs> to the bedding always. I know. Messes up the sleep, man. You fall into it. Ooh. It's something new and different, you know. Right. right Super right. technology. Because I thought it was. Um, I'm in the market for a heavy down blanket. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never get out of bed. But my whole thing was my my skeleton <laughs> my skeleton structure. You know, by me being tall, you know, it's like mm-hmm. I was because I, I had to replace the lazy boy chair because. I was waking, I was like feeling achy all the time. And then I just said, oh, my body just out of alignment. But you know what it is? After a while, th- those chairs, they lose their support. And, and sometimes we forget how long we had those things, how long we've been sitting there. Yeah. So, um, you know, you, you can't flip the mattress and turn it so many times before it's just, you just got to get rid of it. But they just so expensive now. That, yeah. For a good one, you're going to spend some money, you know? So, yeah, two, three thousand. Yeah. So the scientists, um, those guys got pretty good out there, man. They, um, instead of the mattress top of just being those little lightweight foam joints, they actually came up with some kind of space age technology. I, I found out about this thing accidentally on Walmart website. Yeah, because it's not Ooh. in the store. It's not in the store. You only can get oh, it on the website. Oh, oh, yeah. This thing heavy, too, man. It weighs like 20, 30 pounds. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm glad it's doing its job then. Oh, it's incredible, man. You look, you roll the thing out, and after about 8 to 48 hours, it starts foaming to your bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. It's memory foam. Mm. Oh, you got you to try yeah. it, man. So that's, that's, I, I say I, anybody, I'm so try it. Now. I'm like, I know. It's like you feel your body <laughs> healing while you're laying in it. It's like you feel like my body was healing. It was like being on the roller bed with heat. <laughs> yeah. Except for it wasn't moving. So uh, I've been oh, feeling way DIYs. I've been <laughs> feeling way better too since since it happened. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Another thing I had to do is I'm watching comedy before I turn in instead of just watching sports and football. You know how you get mad when your team not winning or they not looking like they did the other year. You so take yeah. that stress yeah. a bit with you. Yeah, man. So, I so now I watch Kirby Enthusiasm and Insecure. I <laughs> just <laughs> laugh myself to sleep. Yeah. And to make some changes, man. I've been feeling better the last few days. And I visit my chiropractor three times a week and get physical mm-hmm. therapy. Yeah. Got to take care of myself. You got a lot going That's here. right. That's right. <laughs> and then, I'm of course, it. yeah, of course, you know, Mimi's still walking me three miles a day. So it's like <laughs> the gravity is pulling on my body, you know. Oh, yeah. Batman needs to slow down a little bit. He, he headed yeah. in high gear. Can't, can't slow down there. Momentum. Mm-hmm. Got the momentum. That's right. It's about I momentum. That yeah, yeah. So we have um a fan favorite on the show tonight, and she knows all about momentum because she's a CEO, a founder, a co-CEO. I'm sorry. I know she's going to correct that. She's co-CEO of Beyond Defense Entertainment with my boy, my brother. That's right. From another mother, David Benton. That's right. DB. That's right. So she's going to be here to talk all about She got a brand new project. If you guys tune in early, you probably heard I love that song. It's so awesome. I didn't want to play it, start playing it until we got on the show. So now mm-hmm. she's on the show. We can start rocking it in rotation. So no, have it on the countdown. Have it on the countdown, man. I got to start doing my Spotify countdown list again. All right. Well, here she is, Miss Shay Savage from the Red Room and Beyond the Fence Entertainment and all the other things she do. Coach. Shay Samuel and Entertainer. What's going on, Shay? Welcome to Late Night. I know, that's right. Welcome back. Shay Samuels is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> she's here. I miss you, too. You know, I'm sitting here listening, and I'm like, you know what? I got to, I got to kind of lay hands on Kelly Holland first on the Positive Power Double X side. And um, I'm listening to you. I'm like, listen to my sister. I love it. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. But I'm so glad you're here. And what's up with the introduction, Batman? That's a first. I love it. You, love it. Like a <laughs> you, you tried to take you your time. Kelly, go, ahead, go ahead and do your I think I think it clearly okay. now. I'm, 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 I told you I've been getting proper rest. My body's in tune with my mind. Oh, right. I don't want to call Yeah. And don't forget the probiotics, man. Make sure your gut is in good health. <laughs> Got to do all that stuff. We had a pandemic. Oh, that's number one. A new pandemic. Yeah, we had a new pandemic, y'all. So we gotta we gotta step up our, our um our health and wellness. 
Yeah, for sure. That's right. All right. Well, look, I'm going to give it to you guys. Um, I'm going to be standing by engineering. Amen. We love you, Batman. Love you, too. All righty. <laughs> so, Shay Shay, my sister, honey, it's been so long, too long, actually. And I'm so glad to have you here on my platform. It's always nice. I say mine, but I got to share it with Batman. <laughs> anyway, but <laughs> but but I'm just I'm just happy to have you here. Like it's been so long, COVID has been in the place, and I am so elated that you were able to still put out the music, stay relevant yes. with your music, and it's so beautiful every time. Mm-hmm. Honey, how do you do it? <laughs> you know, I think over the last couple of months, everybody's been like, "How are you doing everything that you do?" You know, and. The good thing is, is um, before I was kind of doing it by myself, you know, like I was pushing out a lot of stuff. I was doing a lot of stuff, but in this season, I'm productive. You know, um, Mm -hmm. we have a great team of people. I have a great support system. um, And I think allowing others, you know, um, as a leader, learning to delegate has been so Mm -hmm. good for me. Um, Listen, I can't tell you, I've been like, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I've tried to have assistance and I call people before they call them. But in this season, you know, I just had to lay back and really just allow every person that wants wanted to help to help. And so it's mm-hmm. been allowing me um, to do exactly what you guys see. So when people ask me now, I'm just like the power of a great team, you know, a power of Amen. being a part of such a great team. So shout out to the team beyond the fence. We always are in the building. Right. But anything okay. that you see is indicative to what we've been doing year in, year out, day in, day out, minute by minute. Um, but it's allowing all of us to be able to push out great music, books more businesses <laughs> mm-hmm. and um shout out to the tour you know we have a tour coming up which i'll talk about in a little mm-hmm. bit but we have a tour coming up in 2022 so it's allowing us to do so much more so i encourage anybody if you're doing it on your own you're not doing it right <laughs> amen and that's a great point to bring up because oftentimes especially our leaders you know natural born leaders our COVID creatives mm-hmm. sometimes we think we can do it all because we have the knowledge and the ability to do it all but it's never fun being talent and manager you know it's mm-hmm. great when you can delegate certain responsibilities there just might be somebody out there that you know what has the time to dedicate more time to it than you do just hitting it yeah. here and there you know, so I can mm-hmm. I can definitely uh, concur right there, honey bun, because <laughs> I tell people all the time, don't you hate? You know, I know you can do it, but don't you just hate doing both? Like, ugh. Everything, <laughs> like we say in both, but really we kind of like do the hair, do the nails, through. You know, don't you don't you just want to take a break from it all? Like literally. And I at first I was it's like, no, nah, because I wanted to get done. But that's mm-hmm. not how it works. And now that I have, I mean, I could like I was listening to Batman say. He goes to bed a little bit early. So for me, early used to be like 2 a.m. And now oh, like, yeah. I felt a little right strange here. over <laughs> <laughs> I felt strange over the last couple of weeks just going to bed at 10. Like I'm in bed already at 10 o'clock. Yeah. But things are getting done. <laughs> <It's been wonderful. laughs> right. And you're not having to work harder. You're working smarter. Yes. In that yes. yes. Amen. Sure. Yeah, that 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 was school time for me. Them two a.m. nights and then school work oh, eleven goodness. to two. Yeah, girl, I didn't sleep normal if I wasn't going to bed at two. <laughs> you was just late being creative, y'all. She, she had all the projects to flow. I know that's right. It's been so long since we were in the studio together, um, and when yeah. I was on your show, the Red Room. <laughs> yes. Are, Are you the still running room? that show <laughs> for all of yes. our listeners? Tell them more yes, about it. Yes. <laughs> yes, the Red Room, um, a Positive Power production has been running now for I think over two years. And um, like Amen. Gary said, I called them one day and I was like, I had a vision. And although it wasn't the same lined up as the Red Room, we collectively put our minds together and he came up with the Red Room. And mm-hmm. um and as a host, it's been so um influential especially in my life because i get a chance to meet a lot of people like yourself and mm-hmm. um dr eric holmes and uh patricia dobson mm-hmm. the lcsa uh life school mm-hmm. um a, a coaching school and i've met a lot of people 
And uh, you never really know, you know, on the radio side, you get a chance to talk with people. You don't get a chance to see their faces. Right. Correct. But on the TV side, getting a chance to sit closer to you guys and really get to know you more intimately. I love it. I absolutely love it. So Mm. for the listeners who are listening tonight, the Red Room is really a talk show. We took what we were doing on Christian Party Line and what we were doing on Late Night with Jerry Bruce on Monday. And we just Mm -hmm. created a topic driven TV show. And we talk about everything. We talk just about life. We talk about growing up. We talk about double dutch. We talk about the church. <laughs> we talk about sisterhood, brotherhood. We talk about everything. And mm-hmm. um, it's a show that you can really kind of tap into. Why? Because it's something we go through life every day. Every day, every day we go through something different. And so this TV show, it real this talk show, it talks about it. And we get Amen. real, Kelly. Because when we start talking about injustice or when we start talking about hurt in the church or when we start talking about mm-hmm. healing in the church, when we start talking right. about our children and sisterhood, um, these are things you don't really get on daytime TV. And sometimes even mm-hmm. on nighttime talk shows, you don't get it because everybody wants to talk it's about so their sensitive. business. Everybody wants to be, yeah. Everybody mm-hmm. wants to talk about being an artist. Everybody wants to talk about getting their books out. But we don't talk enough about real life. And so that's what the Red Room is. And that's what the Red Room does. Amen. Praise God for that. And I'm glad that you were able to articulate it so well, because a lot of times we have so many projects going. Some people just don't understand the work that goes into it all. And you sound Mm -hmm. like you came out the womb hitting the ground running, (laughs) (laughs) you know, but there was a process there. You know what I mean? There was a process for us all. Could you please share your background story? Like I read the bio but I don't think I would give uh, you any justice. <laughs> well, um, well, you know, I'll start off by saying something I didn't say all the time, um, you know, on, on any show, but I was, I was a young mother. I was a teen mother. I had my first daughter at 16, my second daughter at 17 years old, and um, I was a single mother. And although I had a village to help me with children, I was definitely a mom that tried to do everything I possibly could to the best of my ability at that age. Right. Mm-hmm. So, of course, I'm still going through school and I'm still trying to get through college and I'm trying to raise two daughters and still work and pay bills. I didn't have time to really think about what I wanted to be when I grew up. You know, like okay. I, I just knew I wanted to be something. I just didn't know what. And um, it's just like this whole thing in me just like you said, it was natural. Uh, I think there's mm-hmm. written it everywhere. Um, we all have something in us and I call it purpose. Um, so right. I knew that I was going to walk out my purpose. I just didn't know what that purpose was. So um, I kind of just went with the flow. I didn't know what working looked like. I wanted to know like what I like to do rather than what I would have been pushed into doing. So I interned. <laughs> I tell people this all mm-hmm. the time. I interned. I mean, I had jobs like as a loan officer. I was a um, I, I was I interned as a, a librarian. I just interned because I'm like, what do I want to do? You know, and then finally I realized what I wanted to do. I got into nursing. Um, Then I got into insurance. (laughs) and I got into a lot of other things. And I think all of that developed who I am today. And so now I'm able to identify with the people that I attach myself with because I've been there and I've done it. So when we grow up, we don't know why we're going through what we go through. We don't know why the mishaps happen. We really don't even know why um, what we're praying for doesn't come to fruition most people would look mm-hmm. at me and they'll say wow a young mother people told me i wouldn't even graduate but here's my reality mm-hmm. everything I went through then allowed me to be who i am today i'm more humble today. with the mothers who were younger i don't judge them i don't look at them anything less because i know how it feels i know what i've been through but i also know that they can overcome you get what i'm saying i don't I judge do. people when they can't identify with their purpose because when i know what my purpose was i knew that i had it so I created a ministry that helped develop the identity and purpose. So you're right. right. It wasn't something that came overnight, but it was a process. And in that process, it was happening as I was growing. So I'm a true mm-hmm. testament of a child as they should go. When they grow older, they will never depart from it. I didn't have <laughs> everybody in my village training me on what to do, but life trained me and I am who I am today because of it. Amen to that. And from that, your foundation was born, right? Yes, yes, yes. I um started my first conference in 2015. 
coming back yes, from the state of Delaware. Shout out to Delaware because they're on tonight. Um, Amen. But I was, I did my first concert in Delaware. I was planning a single release. And we were having so much violence and killing in Delaware. And this is 2015. It's worse now. But in 2015, mm, I, I decided I was not going to have the single release. And we were going to do a concert for Stop the Violence in Delaware. And on the way back home, I was looking out the window. I'm looking at trees. I'm looking at the cars. And I'm like, in my head, I hear God is in everything. And I'm like, what does that mean? Yeah, duh. God is in everything. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. duh. <laughs> and um, out of that, developed my conference. I mean, it took me six months to write the plan. So I didn't even hear it and then say, next weekend, we're going to have this conference. It took me about six months to write the plan out of what it looked like. And then Amen. gather the people who get to have time. this conference. Yes, you yeah. got to take your time. You got to look. The best yeah. roast. To do anything well. The best yeah. roast for the yeah. ones that cook overnight. Oh, <laughs> you okay. got to marinate that thing. thing for about 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice and tender. <laughs> you got to marinate that thing for about 24 good hours, maybe 72 if you want it to be nice and juicy. But See, that's, that's what I did. I, I, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I took with my the, time. With the honey milk. <laughs> what the, listen, listen, pineapple on the top if you want to get a little sweet with it. But it, <laughs> we're making some people hungry tonight. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It took some time. Look, the worst thing you can ever do is be on a show and be hungry and somebody talk about all kinds of stuff. <laughs> like, dang, girl, I was trying to ignore it. I'm over here growling at y'all. Keep talking I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, child, but, we all yeah. hungry. <laughs> yeah, but that's, you know, but that's what happened. I developed this. I developed the conference and then everything else out of it. And I really grew accustomed to wanting people to identify with their purpose because people were struggling, Kelly. I mean, they were right. struggling. You hear me? I'm, I, I, right. I, there were people that I was going to church with who only knew going to church on a Wednesday and on a Sunday. And when I would yeah. ask, like, well, what are you called to do? They really couldn't say. And then I realized the church wasn't teaching them that. And then I started really kind of doubting myself because I'm like, well, who am I that I would be the one teaching them about their purpose? And then that's wow, the title you're that important. To, come on. <laughs> exactly. Like, who, 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 who was I? Who was I? I? I knew I wasn't a pastor. I knew I wasn't an apostle, teacher. I knew I wasn't a mm-hmm. preacher and I wasn't an evangelist by title at that name. But then as I started growing more in the word and I started growing more in my confidence and understanding my own purpose, I started walking it out. And it's been going strong since. Praise God for that. Amen. And I'm glad you made a good point that it took you some time to identify who you were, but you got to know yourself, what your interests are, what you like, what you don't like, Mm -hmm. where your talents are placed. And then it also, from what you said to surmise, that you didn't give up and that you wanted to know what was special about you, even you, even me, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where the confidence kind of pushes away with some of us. Some of us, we get we feel good about the journey we take and we look back and we understand the credit that we want to pat ourselves on the back for. But that mm-hmm. next step, for whatever reason, sometimes there's that hesitation. Or mm-hmm. maybe you're not the type of person that believes you can be successful. Maybe you talk about mm-hmm. it, but are yeah. you really ready for that success or the work that goes mm-hmm. into it for the next level, whatever that may be, you know, along your journey. But yeah. I'm very strongly opinionated, <laughs> and in this yeah. position, okay, anything that you do well, you take your time with it, you're meticulous yeah. with it, and yeah. all of those details will come out. We will see the big picture, and prayerfully, we will see it without needing the explanation. So, yes, yeah. for sure, for sure, you, I agree. Right? You call it purpose, I tell people to tap back into their unspeakable joy. There's so much yes. greater in you, okay, and then then saying, oh, let me find a scheme to work through life with. Uh, mm-hmm. You might even get that going, but at the same time, what's next? You have nothing, no foundation, Listen, no even, growth. <laughs> this is even, Go it's ahead. a cliche, but even Jonah had to pay his toll just to get over running running away from the purpose. So you can sure do it, did. but you're going to pay everything out of pocket. 
You ain't gonna have the right people. Everybody's gonna jump ship because you bring in you bring in a storm their way, <laughs> and you wondering why nobody wants to help. <laughs> you are a threat At in the all. camp, and they don't have they don't want nothing to do with you. So you better wait on it. Exactly. But in the beginning, you think, "Wow, this is a great idea, and this person will help me, and I know this person will help me." And then you turn around. <laughs> They not helping you, boo boo. They looking at you like, oh yeah, good idea maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you might mm-hmm. get those yeah. uh, supposed yep. to be supporters. But at the end of yep. the day, believing in yourself is all that it needs to take, and just keep bo- moving and keep striving and keep being determined. And you know, and I'm grateful that we can have artists on the show like you, Shay, because you're a living Thank testimony. You. You're welcome. You're a living testimony that my start is not my end, and that there's yeah. change at every step that I take. So whatever people may try to hold over you, audience, whatever they try to break, bang down on your back with and, and make you feel or even develop or even encourage some type of mental illness, at the end of the day, it's not about them. If you have a plan that was granted to you, then the resources will come. Everything that you yeah. put your mind to, it actually does work out. If you dedicate that time to yourself and put the distractions to the side, it, even if you're only doing 30 minutes of love for yourself, mm-hmm. eventually you're going to get into that lifestyle. So it's okay if you grow. It's okay. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Shay, you got some projects out, honey. Please, please, yeah. please let us all know about that love. My God, y'all haven't even heard the best of the project, but we did just well, release the single. Lay it out. <laughs> I got to lay it out. I got to lay it out. I got excited and had to hesitate. I was like hyperventilating over here like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it is an amazing project, something completely different. Of course, like you said, all of my music is inspiring. Um, I gear it towards all ages, all races. I, go, I gear it towards all genders. Because I think you need, we need to have music that really touches who we are. And, um, and we've lost that somewhere along the line. Honestly, you know, you hear it every now and then, but that's really what I wanted to develop. But this project is a little bit different. Um, mm-hmm. I wanted to touch different, um, I wanted to touch different genres. Let's just put it that way. So in, in previously, mm-hmm. I went from all uh, contemporary Christian gospel. Mm-hmm. Now it's just straight inspirational music. And music that um, talks about the politics. It's music that talks about um, uh, the song that you guys will be playing, Believe in Yourself, is all about just just what you just said, believing in yourself, knowing that you can do it. Um, But it's talking to the everyday man. It's talking to the everyday woman. Um, It's enough for the child to listen to or the youth to listen to without it being over their head. And something that each person can grab on. That college student that's in, in, in college thinking, I'm just about to give up. And they hear a song of mine and they realize, like, I can't do that right now because there's so much more in me. Um, so this project is that all of that put together. I've been working on it now for the last year. In between everything else Jerry said in the beginning, <laughs> I've been working on this project for over a year. And I'm finally really ready to release it. And so I'm excited for everyone to hear it. Amen. And I'm sure Batman is going to let us hear this beautiful song before we end this night. I just want to everybody to get their recorders out, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then where can they find your music? How can they purchase it? <laughs> On all digital outlets, you can wherever you find your mainstream music, you're going to find Shay Samuels and the Beyond Offense family. That's G. Will, mm-hmm. um, and, and David Benton. You're going to find all of our music there. And you know, I want to add because people don't realize that although we're independent artists, you still can use the music on your reels. You still can use okay. the music on your stories. You still can use the music. I had somebody say today they put up a post and they actually um, messaged me. I said, you know, you can use that because it, it was the post was actually perfect for believing yourself. And she said, I didn't know I could find it on Reels. Well, listen, if you can find music on Tidal, Rhapsody, Apple Music, Amazon, all of that, you're able to, you're able to do the same thing on your story. So for your TikToks and your Instagrams and your Facebooks, go ahead and um, make sure you capture it, believe in yourself, 
and make it your story line or music bed today. Amen. Nice little project. And she just lets you know how you don't have those copyright issues. Okay. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Amen. You right. Go. I need you to push your message. I encourage you. Yes. Girl, that's smart. I love your angle. <laughs> no, the people yes. can be out here tripping. I need you this kind of be. money for advertising. Yeah, no. Get out of here. <laughs> you, <laughs> no, you can't be because honestly, like I said, the music is something that really touches who we are every day. We're entrepreneurs. Everybody's looking to open a business. Everybody's doing a radio mm-hmm. show. Everybody's becoming mm-hmm. an author. Everybody's, so, you know, and especially like Jerry said, during the pandemic, you don't know how many business, uh, how many businesses opened up and called our extension business. Let's talk business they've been calling us and we've been helping to establish these are entrepreneurs that's walking out their purpose so when you have a Amen. song like believe in yourself and don't let nobody tell you that you can't when you can there's no reason for you not to utilize it as your music bed there's no reason for Amen. you not to remind somebody to believe in themselves if you're a person who encourages others and you do it every single day don't hesitate to grab the music just because it's an independent song doesn't mean that it's not impactful so we have to tell people every single day, just because of Shay Samuels doesn't mean that it's not impactful. So I just tell people mm-hmm. now, go ahead and grab it. Go ahead and grab it. She go <laughs> get it. Okay, and drop them coins. That's how that's how we live. <laughs> but anyhow, you know, that's that's the obvious. Just throw it yeah. out there in transparency. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> but <laughs> no, but for real. What was your writing process, Shay? you know, just to come up with these songs, like, like for Believe in Yourself, where did you go to, to pull that song out? And, and, and how, and how do you mix it all with the business of it? You know, having that creativity. So ironically, um, I don't write my music. Um, I could be doing the dishes and a song will pop in my head like this one, you know, don't let nobody tell you that you can when you can. So I'm just talking to myself, like real life. People told me I couldn't because I had two children. People told me Mm. I couldn't because I was too young. People told me I couldn't because I was black. People told me I couldn't because I was a female. So I'm just thinking it. Don't let nobody tell you that you can when you can. And then like, I just start singing. I just start singing it. And I start with a hook. If people want to know, like I do start with a hook. And David makes me laugh because he'll be like, you ain't even got an instrumental to it yet. And like the next two days or so, somebody will send me an instrumental that go right to it. Hey, I got this beat that I want you to listen to. <laughs> and, and look, and I'm singing okay. the song, and it drops at the right time. So, so my process really is just what I do every day. Um, you you got to be who you say you are. You got to live the lifestyle that you're putting out there for people. And it's not hard mm-hmm. when you when this is who you are regularly. I ain't got to sit down and and it's, I'm not knocking anybody who does it, but you're not going to find me with like 50 million notebooks um, with paper mm-hmm. scratched down. Like they were on, I think it was five heartbeats where she was like scratching the paper <laughs> and throwing it out. You're not going to find me like, <laughs> trying is. to grab the trash bag. Mm-hmm. Like, Oh, look, okay. This other piece of song is here. This other piece of song is here. Um, but it just comes. But I can tell you that since um, my new uh, transition into full inspirational music, I can tell you that, um, having David in the studio with me has been so beneficial because he has an ear um, as a rapper, but he also has been doing it for a really long time. So we we kind of bounce off of one another, but he might, where I didn't do a lot of background in my songs because I just like to sing and okay. I wanted to do something different. So I didn't do a lot of background and people were really fine with that. I just want to get in <laughs> Kelly and record and be gone. You get what I'm saying? Okay. I don't got time to be trying to put the harmony together. I don't got time for the ad libs. It's been fun to be stretched in that way. So he brings mm-hmm. a whole different element to me in the studio. And you guys can That's find him doing that too on the YouTube. And yeah, I'll find it on his YouTube page at David mm-hmm. Benton because like you'll you'll see him like, nope, do it over. Nope, <laughs> do it over. <laughs> and he puts it up so one day. I'm like. Is yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm tired now, and I'm, you know, my voice is hoarse. <laughs> Listen, by the time the song actually comes out, I don't even want to hear it no more, because I done recorded it like 30, 40 times. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the first time I heard that either. Like, y'all go ahead and listen to it, but I'm like, my voice sounds awful to me at that point, because I done did it 54 oh. times, but 
it's a blessing to others. And, um, but that's the process. There's no, I'm just doing dishes, you know, either I'm driving in the car, I'm thinking about something or somebody, I might be thinking of a scripture. Um, I might've just left an event and, you know, God just start downloading songs in me and I just start singing them. And it's really something that I just know that people need. You know, when the pandemic happened and I'm Good came out, I had I'm Good for a year prior. That whole EP was supposed to come out like a year prior to the to the pandemic. COVID. This mm. so happened on March um, 5th. I think it was released on March 5th. We were told about the COVID. We were told about COVID-19. Mm-hmm. And so here we are yep. all on the shut-in. And my single, my whole EP was released and you got a song on there entitled I'm Good. And it's reminding people um, that they're good. And here's how good this was. It was good and bad. So people were losing their jobs. And my song says, it was. It was like, oh, God, this is bad timing. But people were losing their jobs. And the song says, I'm good. My bills are paid. I'm good. And my family's good. My health is good. I thank God I'm good. So that Mm -hmm. was good for the people who like, hey, I ain't lose my job, you know. But Mm -hmm. the people who did lose their jobs, I'm like, oh, I don't want them to feel like this song is not for them. And so one day I got a call, it was a message on Facebook, and this lady said, and I'm telling you, Facebook was taking this song down, like every time it was put up, they were copyright, copyright, copyright. And this lady called it. I have no clue. It was this this one song that they just kept taking down. down. So Mm -hmm. they literally took this song down, and some lady caught it right off of, like, I don't know how she caught it, but she messaged me. She said, I was one of the people who was not considered a, um, I forgot what the workers were called, but they, she wasn't considered a worker that could stay at her job. So she mm-hmm. got laid off. She said, I heard your song and I started praying. I just started declaring, I'm good. My bills mm-hmm. are paid. I'm good. My family oh. good. My health is good. I thank God I'm good. She said within less than a day, she got a call from a temporary company that needed their help because now they have people, you know, they, they're, they, they were over work. that. Yeah. And so the temporary that agency called, beautiful. but she started declaring it over. And I said, you know what? I didn't think about that. So mm. we have to create songs that's going to touch people right now. And you're right. not just for right now, but when you hear people say your songs are timeless, somebody can hear this song like five years, 10 years, 15 years from now, it still be good. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's good music. You're right. Yes. Shea Samuels is that type of author, y'all. That type of Ooh. artist, that type of mogul, that type of powerhouse. She got her team now. She's unstoppable. All of her projects will be done in the name of the Lord. And there's no yes. stopping her. She, she's on yes. this ride and with purpose. Amen. Yes. Amen to that girl. I'm just so happy for you. Just, just oh. so sister love and congratulation oh. over here. This is this is going to pass one of big long squeezing hugs. Thank like, girl, you. So you like you me. Across the airways, but you my girl. <laughs> <laughs> our show we've been referencing our relationship to our savior um at what part of your life did that really click and turn for you you know you just um you just went out just a little bit oh i'm sorry i said at one point of your life you had to make your commitment to god you had to stand in conviction you had to declare i won't be lukewarm um how is it that you were able to overcome the the distractions and really develop your love relationship with our Savior? Um, most people probably won't like to hear this, and some people may be delivered from this. So I'm just going to be honest and transparent. When I was That's delivered from church, <laughs> okay. when I was delivered from that. church, um. When I realized that the four walls was really just that, the four walls, and that I can come outside and be the church, um, when I really started finding God for myself, it wasn't something that could be taught to me legalistically. It wasn't something that could be taught to me um, judgmentally. It wasn't something that could be taught to me ignorantly. 
um, when I came outside the four walls, I found me and I also found God in its true form. And so um, I was released from a lot of, um, I was released from a lot. I was free after the four walls. And if, if anyone listening wants to know what I mean, I'm not saying that church is, is a bad thing. Uh, First Corinthians uh, 12 and 24, I think it is, says that we are the church. When I started mm-hmm. identifying with myself as the church mm-hmm. and realizing that I'm a part of the body, realizing mm-hmm. that I'm a member of the body and that uniquely I have a gift that everybody can take part in, um, the church, the four walls are not going to teach you that. And so when I could identify with that, I realized that I can be a better help, even without the title, to the people who really wanted to be free. And so I encourage anybody, mm-hmm. you know, the four walls, you can fellowship with people there. Um, there's a lot of hurt people because it's hurt people breeding hurt people. Um, mm-hmm. I realized that the four walls became more political. I realized that the four walls became entertainment. I realized that the four walls became 501c3s and they were subjected to their state. And they really couldn't do me any good. Now, I'm beyond, I'm inside four walls now. Um, and shout out to um, my uh, church family, New Covenant Church in uh, Cedartown and in Gadsden, mm-hmm. Alabama, in, in Piedmont, Alabama. But what's the difference um, there, between that church <laughs> and what you left? <laughs> um, the difference is teaching, apostolic teaching, okay. family, um, you know, having having a covenant. The church, and the name in itself, New Covenant um, I'm in covenant. And the reality of it is, is I had always been in covenant with these people just didn't know that I was in covenant. Um, these Amen. people, they sold into me even before I became a part of their covenant. Um, Man, they saw something beautiful. in me and they would say to me, even when they found me at an event um, back in 2017, and um, they decided to connect with me wholeheartedly. And they would tell me in a heartbeat, they'll sow into me financially, they'll sow into me in ministry. And each time they say, we love you, daughter, and we care about you, daughter. But when we pay, we're paying for the oil. We're not paying you. Mm. (laughs) When we sow, (laughs) we're not sowing into you. We're sowing into the oil because they understood the gift that God gave me and they honor it. And so that was the difference. When When I was going to the other church, it was all about what they can get from us, but never gave anything back in return. And when they didn't feel like... That's a good word. (laughs) <laughs> or, or you know a uh, uh, food pantry or, or cookout uh-huh. yeah. I don't even mean to sound as shady as it's coming out <laughs> I just thought I was <laughs> but, we gotta, but we gotta learn though we gotta yeah. learn because we get so bamboozled and we have a lot of babes in Christ that are going to churches and they're believing that this is what church is like and so you'll hear people say like if this is church I don't want it you know so I'm here to tell you listeners tonight, that's not church. And so you have people who are free, like myself. And when you see me smiling, when you see all of that, you see that I've been set free years and years and years and years ago. And me being set free, it was when I was released from the church mentality. Now, how do you handle that scripture that talks about tithe? Like, where do you sow your tithe? Oh, no, oh, well, I know what I'm doing. running out of time i'm just trying Uh-oh. to be all up in your business all up that's in your fine i can i can say we do it quickly i can say we do it in multiple ways of course i sew into the house that i that i fellowship but we also do it by way of taking care of waitresses when we go out to restaurants we do it in ways where we know people need clothes food um in word we serve we do it all so our ties are more than just monetary amen to that Amen to that. And thank you so much for joining us this evening, Shay. It was such a pleasure to have you on here. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and ask you. Um, wait a minute. Very quickly before I ask you one more thing, please let our listeners know how they can find you, how they can find your music. Plug, plug, plug away. All right. Well, you can go on YouTube at Shay Samuels or Beyond the Fence. That's B E Y O N D A s-e-n-c-e but i recommend you to be on the fence because you'll find me on anything after that if you want to connect with us or you want our tour to be booked in your state find, uh, contact us at www.beyondthefence.org again that's b-e-y-o-n-d-a-s-e-n-c-e and make sure you like and subscribe to all of it don't just go look peek and find out what we're about like subscribe and get connected <laughs> amen to that. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, Shay, for making it very clear. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Next time I see you, I'm gonna pluck you. <laughs> Just for I that. Know, right? I'm so silly. I know, right? <laughs> but Shay, um, coming from a believer, uh, coming from a woman that loves God, coming from a woman that has studied his word. Can you drop us with a prayer to close us out, please? Certainly. Well, Father, we just thank you right now for your glory. We thank you for your grace. We even thank you for this mercy in the time that we live, God. We thank you right now for your hedge of protection over each listener tonight. We thank you that you protect our families, our ears, our eye gates, and our, our mouths, Father God, from even what we speak over ourselves. Father, your word reminds us that our tongues are powerful things. And so may we even declare tonight, God, that you give us a purpose, you've given us purpose, and that we are going to walk on it, that we will no longer be slothful, we will no longer be lazy, we will no longer hide our gifts, Mm -hmm. Father, but we will give it out to the world. I thank you right now for our sister Kelly. Thank you for the show. Thank you for the airwaves. We thank you for Mm -hmm. Batman for even allowing these opportunities to happen. We thank you for the Mm -hmm. families that are attached to them, oh God, that you will continue to bless and honor them. I thank you for every listener tonight that they got something that will impart them and that was imparted in them that, God, they may even be stronger, the wiser, and even greater uh, after this this broadcast. We thank you right now. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, ladies. I miss you, and I bless you. I miss you, you too. I I want to see you. you. (laughs) I'm going to make some uh, COVID trips. Maybe we can get in a bubble or something i'll get my bubble ah, <laughs> we'll be we'll be there soon i'll definitely let you know we'll be there soon okay i can't wait to see you honey that's what and zoom is for i guess he does have that for it too. that's what I miss zoom that. i miss it i miss it that's what <laughs> zoom is for that's the bubble zoom. <laughs> uh, that's the bubble <laughs> that's the bubble can't get no safer than that they may go and look at me all his people like what you want uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. we're here we say we're right, here somebody. I got a new studio but y'all can't we in. want the red room <laughs> we want the red I'll room I'll meet you in the driveway, <laughs> <laughs> in the driveway. <laughs> he's probably gonna have a table and chairs too I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah Baltimore the Raven there yeah, right. <laughs> Jerry got a little chair in his in one of the rooms where he just laid back. It's like it's maybe like one or two of the chairs. He just sit there and watch the. the he, it's ready too. You know, mm-hmm. the game's about to come off. The chair is laid back before he even get in it. That's right. That is that is the Lamar room. <laughs> the Lamar room. Oh, okay. Room eight. Oh, see, he sound real fancy, don't he? That's the right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> we wanna, we're trying to get to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Oh, I know that's right. That's right. Well, Shay, Shay, of course we we enjoy having you on the, on the, on the podcast always, and of course, um, always. Batman's going to be uh, hosting the late night TV, so I got to have you on as a guest, and I might just have to have both of you guys on at the same time. Okay, we can yeah, like to be. We, we will cut up. You already right. know you've had us on a couple of times together. You might as well stay in, be ready to stay until 1 p.m., yeah. 2 p.m. with me. It's only a one-hour okay. show. It's only one hour. <laughs> it's a one-hour show. <laughs> We're going to have part three and four. <laughs> yeah. Sound good to me. But um, I just want to yeah. say a uh, shout-out to uh, to Dr. C and Dr. G. Irvins up in Detroit. That's right. Right now, Praise TV. That's right. Positive Power. Got some episodes going to be running on demand on the Apple TV oh, and Roku. That's right. We're so excited about that. Man. So excited. Amen. That's right. Congratulations. God is more. Congratulations. That's right. The Not Red the Room. Perfect. That's right. The Red Room. Perfect. And um, I think Late Night TV, they picked up Late Night TV, The Red Room, and MVP. So I, I couldn't bargain yes. down with too much. Come yeah. on with this guy. That's Come right. on with this guy. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, so we just so uh, congratulations to you too, Shay. That's right. <laughs> yes, you, congratulations to you. We'll be doing Shay, some more man. taping soon. Um, Amen. hopefully, we can get back in the studio uh, at some point, Jerry, because people are calling and asking, When are we going back in the studio? I don't know. That's that name. So, 
Where well, saving comes well, I do have a Zoom lens, so we can uh, probably do a show at the Civic Center <laughs> at the, okay. the Rural Farm Arena. You're like, ain't nobody coming here. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Farm Arena. Y'all ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. Yeah, out at Drew Hill Park. Right. Hey, hey, Kelly, how about at Drew Hill Park? <laughs> we can shoot. I'm scared. <laughs> They got a po- they got a podium. You guys can sit under under the podium and I shoot from uh, the lake. Yeah, we can do better than that, Batman. That's not right. <laughs> Man, it, it, it's getting Look, it's I'll too dangerous. It's getting too dangerous. You you guys got to look at the um this documentary <laughs> on um the Black Death and the Black Plague. Um, how they how they was able to end it. You'd be surprised how it ended. Yeah. The black man fixed it, or did they have um the Pied Piper coming? Well, you, the way all the, <laughs> the rest. you know, you know. I bet you, if everybody ate peanuts, we probably can cure it. <laughs> the cures in the peanut, yeah. all protein, protein, plant based protein. Okay. No, that's not how they cured it. But you can watch it, and you'd be surprised how it ended. I'm telling you guys, it came in all strong with protein, plant based protein. That's, that's right. Uh-huh. You got to get away from. Uh, look, hey, Cal, you got to get away from animal based protein. Whole food store for organic peanut butter. Yeah, you gotta okay. get away. You, you gotta get away from um animal based protein. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But Kelly, didn't you tell me that uh didn't you tell me that, that animal protein is secondary protein? Was that you? No, but I don't eat it. Oh must have been like a coach. Flesh. Must have been coach Gene probably told me that. <laughs> the way you make it sound, Kelly. Yeah. Oh, it's just I'm a, I'm a, I'm still a slave to the seafood. But well, we get you give her you give her seafood though, because all they do is eat plants. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you get fish. That's right. <laughs> but real quick though, fish. Kelly, because you know we, you know what, Shay, man, Kelly didn't get a chance to talk about food. We used to open the show talking about food. Hey, Kelly, did you realize yeah. lately since we've been home, I've been noticing that all the different species of fish do not taste the same. No, they don't. Yeah, but Somebody from... had the nerve to sell me some old shrimp and fish, and then say, "Well, since you ate a little bit, we're only going to refund you half." I said, "Girl, that fish was overjudged, <laughs> right?" And then some pieces you couldn't even chew. Like, get out of here! So wow. Like, oh, that's what you just gotta say. Take your little funky money. I just won't come back. There must but been you know, there must been farm raised. Yeah. There must been farm raised seafood. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get wild caught. No yeah, it's a yeah, difference. Man. Yeah, you don't want no, <laughs> you don't want nobody growing your fish in that pond. <laughs> I oh mean, the aquarium. What's in that pond? I mean, the oh aquarium, not the pond. The aquarium. You, you put ashes <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Well, I can say this, but hey, Cal, you you were you didn't go to Juicy Crab with us, did you? No, no. Should should I I Kelly did not go to Juicy Crab with us. Yeah, it seemed like I spent my uh, whole trip. My mouth just started watering. Kelly, when I was hanging out with them, it seemed like my whole trip was at Juicy Crab. Oh, <laughs> now I'm about to get in the car and get, get to the crab. <laughs> I know that's right. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm very reluctant of crabs, period, from any other you, state. Like, they got all kinds of stuff. You will love it. Well, actually, actually, Shay, we have a place here called Rock and Toss, just like Juicy Crab, just okay. like it. I'll yeah, try it. I'll try. It. I'll try. Is the it, is the I'll, red I'll crab? Will boil. I will let you yeah, know. Throw it in a bag, Kelly. They boil the food and put it in a yeah, bag. Well, no, no, I can get down with you on that, but I usually get the lobster tail and the scallops or the shrimp with the head on. Yeah, yeah. You and can like do that. triple broccoli. It's like triple eating soup broccoli. in a bag. Broccoli soup in a bag. <laughs> I'm not slurping that sauce up. I'm just gonna put it on my food and then slurp it. <laughs> hey, say, do you guys have? Do you have the red That's crab in Georgia? The red crab? Yeah, is that in Georgia? Because I know it's in North Carolina, and I think they have a place here in Maryland. That's a pretty good place too. They good. They fry. They food they do. Oils. Yeah, they fry food really well at the red crab. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, have I like fried crab. lobster. I never had fried lobster before. I've never, I don't like lobster at all. Really? Fried lobster. Oh man, you gotta. She gotta go to uh, McCormick and Smith. They got the best lobster. I did, uh, I did McCormick. I did 
I've been to McCormick's. That that was on the um on the, the yeah uh, in the water. The, so you didn't like? You, yeah. Did you try their their lobster? I don't like lobster at all. Oh, okay, because their lobster is delicious. It doesn't even taste like uh, you. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you really want to try lobster, have you been to um to the Poconos before? Yeah. Oh yeah, they they can make some some lobster there. <laughs> no, no joke. Well, I'm gonna say this. I shouldn't say I don't like lobster at all. I'm thinking about it really hard. And um, there's a store that used to have lobster rolls. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. in Maryland, and they were really good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, you can't you can't eat lobster anywhere because they'd be rubbery. It's like eat chewing on your now, tire. The claw meat. I don't really care for the claw meat, but uh, I go to a spot downtown and um. Not where is it? It's in Fells. In Fells um, Point. Fells, yeah. Well, and, Captain um, Captain um, Har- Harvey. No. <laughs> well, since we throwing it out, I go to Angie. It's the old old Brickies. A and G's. You said Angie. 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 Yeah, Angie. Oh, okay. You gotta look for that. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I, I love Kelly. She's, Kelly is a real media mogul at this point because <laughs> she said now that we're calling it out, I'm like Jerry. You're saying all the names of these restaurants. You know, I'm like, well, I'm just going to go with it. But Kelly's just since we're calling it out. Let me just go ahead and say Angie. This is because they take care of me when I get there. they like, y'all are making me hungry. Y'all are making us hungry. So they take care of Batman when they get there. So they listen to the show. They they take care of me. They take care of Batman when I get there. That's why. All right. Well, look, y'all, we got to get out of here. And um, Shay, we appreciate you uh, joining us. And we will see you I, soon. I got to. Just for the old time's sake, I need to do my clothes out, Jerry. All right, go ahead. For old time's sake. I haven't right. done it in a long time. All Let right. me see if I still have okay. it. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead with it, Jay. Go ahead, Cobra Hit it. Power 21org Internet Radio. Ready to your part, Jerry. Can you feel the power? Right? Feel the power A double XI. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio oh, You're listening to Gears Worldwide Podcast Thank you everybody for tuning in to Late Night Jerry Rose Live Worldwide Kelly Holland and Beautiful Shay Sammy out of Georgia. And also go. All right, everybody, take care. And we hope to see you again next week. Have a fabulous weekend. We're off on Friday. We'll see you back on Monday. We get started at 7 o'clock with Mr. and Mrs. Devil Slayer. And 8 o'clock, we got the renewed mind with Dr. Duckett. And 9 p.m., you guys. Devil, come on. Uh-oh. But anyway, y'all, see you next week. Bye bye. Hey, 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 my name is David and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Prozive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. You are listening to Jerry was live worldwide podcast. Beautiful people, my name is Popular the Generous, gospel artist from Lagos, Nigeria, Africa, and you're listening to the Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. I got my new single playing on there, Hadura. You don't want to miss it. One love, one God, one people, and one faith. Hallelujah day. That's how we roll. That's how the team go.